tonight I managed to finish a bunch of the plumbing which is um, now of course completely hidden under the drywall but this was the framing that I did that took all of yesterday I did I started the plumbing I ran out of pieces and things were closed and this uh, bit of framing here the in order to get that two by four in so that I'm able to screw the drywall to something uh, screwing that into the joist required one of those 90 degree adapters and um, Home Depot was shut yesterday so I, I looked at those and it was like 50 or 60 dollars so after I regained consciousness I decided not to purchase that I waited until today and and spent you know, like I saved ten dollars um, by waiting but anyway um, it was a total waste of time so I'll come back over here because I got the drywall in and the, the thing um, is that wide so I got the kitchen lights in it's I don't know if it uh, shows up on the camera but this is almost painfully bright so all I've got is the standard on off um, so I think I'll be grabbing some more of these um, dimmers because the kitchen lights as they are I mean three of them in such a small area is uh, a little unreasonable but I'll worry about that another time like obviously I can continue on so that was my day I got one piece of drywall installed yay now the other day Patrick who's a, a roommate where I'm staying right now he managed to get not only this part of the ceiling done but also you'll notice the walls are started so he, he managed to get all of that done in one day. And while he was doing that, Marilyn, who's my landlady, was helping him. And those of you who have ever actually attended here, I mean, as much of a nightmare as this is, it is easily 10 times better than it was um, on Wednesday. So Marilyn just spent like the entire day cleaning the place up, uh, moving stuff around so that Patrick had room to maneuver um, and, you know, could operate safely. Well, speaking of, like, the kid really knows what he's doing, so he's super fast. But what I find interesting is that he measures the outlets and cuts them with a drywall saw, like a manual push saw. He doesn't use the Roto-Zip, which I found fascinating. So I guess I've gone as far as I can right now. Um, when I was putting that in, I managed to sever this circuit. And it's behind that, um, well, it's in the basement actually where the, where the break occurred. So I'm gonna have to figure out some way of ripping out enough of this uh, spray foam insulation to get at the wire and either replace it or rerun it. Um, Patching wire is not something the electrician or the um, electrical inspector uh, looks kindly upon. So, I, honestly, I don't know what I'm going to do. i got to figure something out. And I guess I have to figure it out soon because the drywall is going up. Bye for now.